Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. If you haven't had an opportunity to watch the Mayweather versus Pacquiao fight, stop listening now. Major spoilers. Here we go. All right, I gave you enough time. Yo, hey, Mayweather just won. <laughs> as as I said in my previous video, I I, I always knew it was gonna happen. Um, I'm just surprised that it happened the way that it did. I had no clue. Well, I mean, I, I knew that Mayweather was that great of a boxer. I'm just, I guess, you know, I'm surprised that Manny Pacquiao really is done. You know, as far as, like, when he goes against better boxers, it's over. When he goes against nobodies, he, he looks really, really great, you know, because he just has more experience. But when you go against it. And it, 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 I just can't even say it. When you match him up with someone that is equal skill with him, as Marquez, um, Mayweather, Cotto, stuff like that, when you really match him against really great boxers, you get to see something that, that has, I guess, never happened, man. And that's Manny Pacquiao being shut down, man. Um, I feel sorry, man, for Manny Pacquiao fans. I really do. Um, I've been saying this for I don't know how many years, man. I said... Manny Pacquiao would never beat Floyd Mayweather. Manny Pacquiao, as far as just a regular street fight, yes, absolutely. Probably he'll, he'll destroy him, you know. Manny Pacquiao's that crazy. But as far as inside of the boxing ring, Mayweather can't be stopped, man. Now, now that we're done talking about that, okay, and, I, and I'll go into the, the details. I got all the details right here. Put that down for a second. I want to see Mayweather fight Amir Khan. And the reason why I want to see that happen is because I think that Amir Khan is, right now in his career, he's at the same place that Miguel Cotto, um, Marquez, um, Oscar De La Hoya, Sugar Shane Mosley, um, Vernon Forrest, a lot of different boxers at their prime. That's where, that's where Amir Khan is at. And the power that this guy has behind his punch, man. If you've ever seen um, Andre uh, Wilder, if you've seen him box, imagine that with a smaller guy, not heavyweight, but just a smaller guy, about the same size as Floyd Mayweather, with that much power behind him. If you understand what I'm talking about, check that out. Or if you've ever seen, um, what's that one guy's name, man? I keep on forgetting his name. He's a really good dude, too. Uh, Light-skinned dude, has the braids, I can't, I can't remember his name right now, but th that dude packs a, a, a mean punch, man. But Amir Khan has both of those boxers, along with like Mike Tyson, uh, Muhammad Ali, all of your, your great boxers with so much power and so much just star power. If you really get this guy in the ring and see what he's able to do, Amir Khan is amazing, man. I can't say enough about that. At first, I wasn't liking Amir Khan. At first, I said, man, yeah, this dude will never know. But that would be a great fight. That's what I want to say about that. Uh, going forward, um, Mayweather's going to uh, box again in September. I'm hoping that it's going to be Amir Khan. Um, and after that, that's that's it. He said it tonight that he is retiring. I guess once he hits 40, that's it. So it is what it is. It kind of sucks because I don't think um, I don't know who's left in boxing, man. You know, the heavyweight division is looking pretty good right now, but. I think Amir Khan, I mean, that's that's the only one that I can see, man. I mean, everybody else, they just don't have that star power. They